Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. In this video, I'm going to try to explain what DLSS 3.5 is since I've been getting a lot of questions about it recently. Now, just a disclaimer, I just did my own research on this topic, so I'm not an expert whatsoever. The technology is fairly new. So let's start in the beginning with DLSS or Deep Learning Super Sampling. DLSS is a neural rendering technology that was introduced five years ago, which uses tensor cores inside each RTX GPU that runs the DLSS AI network in real time. Now, with that being said, years went by and the AI model got better and better, along with NVIDIA's hardware GPUs. So fast forward to today, DLSS 3.5's main mission is to deliver max quality and max FPS with optimal response time. DLSS 3.5 contains the following components. Super Resolution, or DLSS2, and DLAA. DLSS handles upscaling, focusing more on performance. DLAA handles anti-aliasing with a focus more on visual quality. The way I look at it is DLSS, you get FPS. DLAA, you get quality. Now, the second component is ray reconstruction. Now, to explain ray reconstruction, let's take a look at what ray tracing is first. Now, the first thing that happens in an engine is the engine generates mesh geometry and materials for your scene. After that, sample of rays are then shot from the viewpoint, and then the rays determine light sources, bounces, and reflections. Now, if something is rendering or happening real time, it's not going to have a lot of time to resolve, so you'll end up with an image looking like this pretty much very noisy. Now, to fill in the gaps or clean up the noise of the image, the engine can use different methods such as temporal and spatial denoisers. Now, temporal method uses multiple frames to calculate what's needed to fill in these gaps. Spatial fills in the gaps by blending close by pixels. As you all know, these methods can be problematic and sometimes introduces ugly artifacts or ghosting. Now, this is where ray reconstruction comes in handy. Ray reconstruction's job is to replace traditional denoisers like temporal and spatial. Instead of calculating multiple frames or blending in pixels to fill in the holes, it uses an NVIDIA supercomputer trained AI network that generates or reconstructs pixels in between the sampled rays. In a nutshell, ray reconstruction is replacing pixels with pixels it was trained on in real time. Ray reconstruction is much more advanced since it can recognize lighting patterns such as global illumination, ambient occlusion, and reflections, which in turn makes the image much more stable. So right now, ray reconstruction only works with DLSS Super Resolution and not DLAA. So in games like Cyberpunk 2077 2.0, reconstruction gets disabled when you flip to DLAA. The last component of DLSS 3.5 is frame generation. Frame generation revolutionizes gaming by utilizing AI again to generate new frames rather than just generating pixels. In a nutshell, frame gen processes the new frame and the prior frame to discover how the scene is changing, and by doing so, increasing the game performance by up to four times. Now, obviously, this is a very simplified version of how this works. If you want to know more about 3LSS 3.5, I'll put the link in the description below. NVIDIA created a pretty amazing video on it. So what I'm going to do right now is just hop into Cyberpunk 2077 2.0 so I can show you what ray reconstruction actually looks like in real time. All right, so here we are in Cyberpunk 2077 2.0. And right now, we have ray reconstruction turned off. So let's go to the settings so you can kind of see what we have. We have frame generation turned on, DLSS super resolution again, which is DLSS 2, like I mentioned before. We have DLSS sharpness set to 0.5, which is with default right now. And I have ray reconstruction turned off. Now, where I want you to pay attention to is the ground right here on the floor, the asphalt. As you can see right here, it is pretty blurry, mushy is what I would call it. And this is pretty much just the denoiser doing way too much, temporal or spatial. I don't know what this engine is using by default, but this is what the default will look like without ray reconstruction and path tracing. So with that being said, I want you to take a screenshot of this or take a look at it because now we're going to flip it on. So I'll go to escape. Go to settings and once again i mentioned rtx di before i've made a video about rtx di before but for you to use ray reconstruction in cyberpunk 2077 2.0 you are going to need to turn on path tracing or rtx di so i'll confirm that and i'll go all the way up and we're going to turn on ray reconstruction right here and once again this only works with dlss right now super resolution and not dlaa i'll press apply now escape and now you're going to see that ground is actually getting more textures. And I am seeing this everywhere. Even in the Unreal Engine 5 ramen shop demo that I got a hold of recently, the ray reconstruction is not only denoising the image at this point, it's actually remembering this ground, this texture. And it says, oh, I know what that is. Here's the rest of that data that needs to be on that ground. It's actually asphalt and actually looks like this. 
So once again, ray reconstruction is just not denoising the image. It's filling in good and great data back into place. So now looking at this, holy crap, we're actually getting textures and fidelity back versus to what it looked like before. And I'm going to flip that on once again. So go to settings and we're going to turn off, we're going to turn on path tracing, right? Ray reconstruction will be turned off automatically. And compared to ray reconstruction off, and I'll put this side by side, you see that we are losing data in the textures. Now, I know AI obviously is the future of gaming, which is pretty cool. But imagine one day whenever we're starting to use AI, not in just increasing the graphics, but actually in gameplay. For example, since this can fill in some data missing in the graphics, what if later on we play a game and the AI is actually learning how we play the game? So our next play around, it is countering everything we're doing because it learned from our previous gameplay. Now, that is a pretty good idea, and I'm pretty sure eventually we're going to go to that. And this is what really excites me about AI and gaming. Additionally, like I mentioned before, if you download the NVRTX branch in 5.2 right now, DLSS 3.5 reconstruction is already there, even though it's not turned on just yet. So again, this technology potentially will come to Unreal Engine 5, which again, combined with Lumen Reflections and Lumen GI, could potentially look good. Speaking of Unreal Engine 5, in the next video, what we're going to be taking a look at is the Unreal Engine 5 ramen shop demo that I got a hold of recently, which again, pretty much showcases all of these NVIDIA technologies all in one demo. That being said, I hope you all learned something new today. If you like this video, please do like it and subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to get 100k subscribers this year, and I'm really close to it. Like always, if you have any questions, let me know, and I'll see y'all later. Peace out.